He, he was caught red-handed with Amy Robach's back meat in his hands. Cause you know she ain't got no ass back there, so you know he it was a it was a hand full of back meat. You really about to like risk your marriage and your job for back meat sex? TJ Holmes is out here reupholstering Amy Robach's Caucasian coochie during Black Women's Black Santa Month. Last Thursday, when the news broke out of TJ Holmes and Amy Robot, bitch, I was traveling. I'm so sorry, I have been gone. Uh, I told y'all I want to be more consistent for this month. I'm gonna try my best, but you know what? December is very slow for me because it's the holiday season, so I should be able to be on here more frequently. But at the very last minute, um, Amazon Prime Video had me attend. Uh, an event at the Art Basel. I was down to Miami at the Art Basel. I know it's Art Basel, but you know, I'm from Miami. I'm finna mispronounce shit on purpose. I was at Art Basel and um, it was really, really fun. So, so we were down there um, for the screening of Riches on Amazon Prime video. So I'm sorry, not Amazon, but Prime video. Y'all, please, please watch this series. Please watch this series. It's called Riches. It's on Prime Video. I had the pleasure of being down there in Miami to do the screening. They had an art gallery and everything. It was so much fun. Like, first of all, I got my mom to come with me and <laughs> she came. She enjoyed it. Um, at the screening, uh, the cast was there. Deborah. Uh, oh my God. Deborah is so damn fine. Like, let, hold on. Let me get her full name. I always forget what Deborah's uh, last name is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Deborah Ayorinde. I think that's what, or De De Deborah Ayorinde. Ayorinde, or Ayorinde. I think, I think it's Ayorinde, but she is phenomenal in this series. Everybody in the series is amazing. First of all, it's mostly dark-skinned people. I love that. I love that. I feel like I never, like, it's only very seldom that you ever see something like that, where it's the, all the main cast members are dark skin. Like, it's amazing. It is a really, really good story. If you like Succession, which is on HBO, and if you like, what's another, um, Scandal, it's given Succession, Scandal, and put a little bit of, I don't know. Mm, what's a good, another good black show that's, you know what? I'm gonna tell you what it is. Napa Valley, there's a show on OWN called Napa Valley. Riches is what Napa Valley thought it was. <laughs> Deadass, Riches is what Napa Valley, Napa Valley thought it was. Riches is amazing. If you like Succession, if you like Scandal, uh, if you like Napa Valley on OWN, you will love this show. It's amazing. The writing is amazing. There are so many twists and turns and it closes with a huge surprise at the end, which is like, oh shit. Like it just, it closes out with a huge bomb, like a huge bomb drop. It's only six episodes long. Prime video. Why would you, why would you guys give us a series so good as Riches and, and only give us six episodes. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Like, do not play with me like that again. Don't play with me. Season two, go ahead and give us 10 to 12 episodes, preferably 12, okay? Um, let's go ahead and bring everybody back. Bring everybody back. Um, go ahead and bring the daddy back just you know make him like the ghost of t'challa you know what i'm saying you remember how how when t'challa daddy had died and he was still seeing him in the afterlife and y'all kind of played on that with the first season too go ahead and do that bring everybody back um my only thing that i did not like about uh riches is the lighting everybody's dark skin so i, I really need y'all to <laughs> i really need you guys to Figure out how to light dark skin people better, please. There were some scenes where I could barely see Deborah's teachers. Like it, please. It's gonna get <laughs> make us glow, baby. Light us up, light us up, light us up, 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 light us up, up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, we need more episodes. Don't play with me like that. Do not play with me like that. If you are African, if you are Caribbean, if you are 
Um, and then if you are an immigrant, this story is for you. Like, you will like it. You will really, really like it. It speaks to the immigrant experience, trying to make it in this world. And it's crazy how, like, you know, I always think about the immigrant experience from being in the U.S. I never really thought of it like that from being in London. And someone on Twitter was telling me there's so many that the U.K. does a really, really good job um, which shows that represent the diaspora very, very well. So I need to get into some of them shows. But anyway, child. Shout out to Prime Video again for sending me to Miami at a great time. And y'all, why are we at the event and my sister pops up and she starts dancing like she's dancing with this group. I, I was screaming like, what? What is going on? Like, I was so surprised. My mom was so surprised. Like, it was just, what? Is that? Is that Grace? It, this just was ridiculous. She didn't tell me that she was going to be dancing for Amazon Prime Video. Like, hello. Hello. Um, but anyway, y'all, make sure you watch Riches on Prime Video. They would I'm not being paid to say this. I'm telling y'all genuinely, I really, really like the show. And y'all know, if you've watched me, you know I'm going to tell y'all about the shows that I really like. Let me tell you about a show that I really don't watch like that and I was about to start watching until today I heard that they done got rid of TJ Holmes and Amy Robach. GMA3, are y'all dumb? No, like seriously, are y'all really dumb? Because... The show, GMA3, ain't nobody rushing home to watch that shit. I have never heard somebody say, ooh, rushing home to go watch GMA3. Never heard it. Never heard it before. Why would you remove TJ at a time such as this? During Black Women's Black Santa Month. Why would you do that? Like, okay, I understand the scandal, whatever. Okay, I get it. Like, we caught, he was, he, he was caught red-handed. With Amy Robach back meat in his hands. You know she ain't got no ass back there. So, you know, he it was a it was a hand full of back meat. He was caught with it. Okay, but okay, but now we tuning in though. Now we're actually gonna tune in. GMA3 has not been good since Kiki Palmer and Michael Strahan was co-hosting that shit. We was not watching it before, and we damn sure ain't watch it after the, the ratings and How y'all not gonna how would you how do you fumble the ball like this? Everybody's tuning in and you think now is the time to take him off air. Like, are you guys dumb? Okay, first of all, let's rewind. Let's let's rewind. Let's rewind, okay? So, where were you last Thursday when the news broke? Where were you when TJ Holmes was caught red-handed with Amy Robach's back meat on his hands? Where were you? Hand full of back meat. A hand full of back meat. TJ, you was dead-ass wrong for that shit. First of all, both of y'all is dead-ass wrong. Somebody said it was... And somebody said T.J. Holmes and Amy Robach was running around New York like Ghost and Angela. And I have not stopped screaming at that shit because they dead ass was. Like, they were really running around. Like, they was actually running around a marathon. And whole time, we thinking y'all training for a marathon, but you training for uh, another type of marathon. That's what y'all was training for, another type of marathon. So, anyway, child, um, let's go ahead and back that thing up like juvenile real quick. Let's go back to where this all started. So, the news broke out, right? And it was all these pictures. I'm like, wait a minute. What the fuck is going on? This is TJ Holmes. You know, you know, I mean, now here's, here's the thing. Let's be real. We've all had a work day or two or three. You know what I'm saying? Depending on who you are. I've only had one. Wait, how many work? I had one work day one time and we actually did fuck at work though. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, you know, I'm gonna always keep it real with y'all. He was a Gemini. First, ladies, please do your best to never fuck with a Gemini. But anyway, this is when I was working at call centers. I was working for AT&T. Hello. Thank you for calling AT&T. How can I help you? And you know what I'm saying? On my 15-minute breaks, <laughs> I was getting my back breaks. <laughs> in the lunchroom, bitch. Like, we was fucking in the break. I remember one time we fucked in the break room so good, I could barely make it back to my seat. Like, it was ridiculous, child. He was a supervisor. Um, you know, but I'm very much against sleeping with co-workers. I'm ve listen, I'm very much against that. I have experienced that. I don't condone that. But I'm just saying we've all had a work bay, bruh. We've all had a work break. Let's 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 not act like we don't know what the fuck this be. Okay, we have all had a work bay. So anyway, let's go ahead and baby, it was this picture first. I was like, okay, you know what? This ain't, I mean, can y'all see that? Okay, I said, all right, that ain't that ain't too bad. You know, they 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 laughing or whatever. Okay, cool. Okay, all right. I said, okay, well, okay, they just, you know, they all right. I mean, they walk around the city. That ain't, I mean, that ain't too bad. 
Then there was this picture right here. This the picture right here that just set the whole shit off. Because it was like, baby, hold on. It was like, first, TJ, what you grabbing back there? TJ, what are you grabbing? Handful of back meat. Like, Amy's back and her buttocks are one. We are one. Emily, Emily, we are one. Like, one. That lady got a back that melts into her buttocks. Ain't, what, what the fuck you be grabbing back there, TJ? Are you serious? Are you for real? Let's be for fucking for real. You really about to, like, risk your marriage and your job for back meat sex? For back meat sex? TJ, really? So the story had broke out or whatever. And I was like, well, hold up. Because I know, I, I thought, I thought both of their ass was fucking married. So I go to the page six article, child. Go to page six. I think page six was the first ones that broke it. I said, look at page six doing the work that TMZ usually does. Okay. Listen, they say, listen, we're going to get the, we're we going to get, we're going to get, <laughs> we're going to get the engagement this time. I'm sorry. Sorry to them niggas. We're going to get the engagement this time. So, of course, a lot of us were at home confused. We were like, well, ain't they married? Like, what happened to marriage? What happened to marriage? What happened to respecting the foundation of marriage? Like, what's going on? I mean, what's going on? What's going on? I mean, it's one thing for you to be having a work, baby. But, but bitch, y'all is married. Y'all is married. What's going on with the institution and the constitution and the restitution of marriage? I said, oh, my God, let me go do my research. So, I'm looking at this um, article. So, it said here... Robach deactivated her Instagram account Wednesday afternoon after she had already limited comments after fans noticed she had removed her wedding band and stopped posting photos of her husband. Okay, Holmes' account had already been deactivated prior to Page Six's report that he and Robach had been canoodling in bars near ABC back near ABC News back in May. Mmm. So this, so this, so so. Oh. So wait. Okay. So they had been. This had been been going on. So I was shocked, appalled. So um, a source claimed to page six, their romance began in March when they began training with each other for the New York City Half Marathon. Mm -hmm. I bet they was training. And look at this, look at, look at these pictures. Whole time I'm thinking they training for a marathon, but they really training for him to reupholster her coochie. TJ Holmes is out here reupholstering Amy Robox. Caucasian coochie during Black Women's Black Santa Month. Okay? Very anti-black. Very anti-black. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? I could kind of understand from Amy's point of view because we ain't gonna we ain't gonna we ain't gonna act like TJ ain't fine. Like that. <laughs> I don't understand TJ going to her, but we ain't gonna act like TJ ain't fine. Like I don't know what he sees in Amy, but baby, I see what she sees in TJ. So apparently they had said, oh, the marriage, they're, they're, they had already been separated from their, um, from their respected, I mean, spouses for a while. That was never public knowledge. So I ain't know nothing about that. Now get, keep it, leave it to Twitter to find shit. <laughs> Somebody had posted this video of them um, from, from Good Morning America's uh, TikTok. And I'm like, hold on. Look at this, y'all. Well, you've been training. You've been training. With you, and I run behind you, and you keep the pace. I don't have to worry about these things. <laughs> right, so uh, if you are the pacer, yes. you do have to worry about these things. You're the pacer. Does that make me the pacey? Yes. The yeah, you're the pacer. I can't. So, yeah. I'm going to both be finishers. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not. Well, you've been training. You've been training. With you, and I run behind you. I don't have to worry about Now I run behind you and we're both going to be finishing. First of all, I want y'all to take a good look at how TJ's sitting next to that white lady. Them niggas been fucking. He was been fucking that lady. He was been reupholstering that lady pussy. And I'm going to tell you right now, they be fucking in that GMA break room. I'm going to let y'all know right now. Pussy juice all on the damn coffee machine. Pussy juice on the fridge where y'all sharing y'all snacks and shit. Pussy juice on the desk. I'm telling you, these niggas be fucking during break and after hours at fucking GMA. I'm, I'm letting y'all know that right now. I'm letting y'all niggas know right now. Them niggas been fucking and they been fucking at work. What really killed me... <laughs> this is what really killed me because I remember when the whole scandal had happened with uh nia long's husband 
and TJ had had to report on it. I'm like, this nigga was, I remember this nigga like stuttering through that. So I found a clip. Here you go. Look at this. And coach will serve as the interim coach for this upcoming season. And straight, you just said, well, that piece was rolling. Just last week, the NBA suspended the Phoenix Suns owner after an investigation into conduct in the workplace. Suspended for a year, $10 million fine. This coming after that. Now, this is not what the NBA wants. Headlines like this, they're just about three weeks away from the start of the new season. Yeah. Surprising, being named just in the final. Look at him, look him sweating. He has, he, he's getting great and high, high he, marks. He, 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 he had, he did great. It, 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 he, he had. This nigga is sweating through that report talking about misconduct, misconduct in the workplace. You see how he was sweating through that shit? This is what happens when you know. This is what happens when you know you are out here reupholstering your damn co worker's coochie. During y'all's y'all 15 minute break. Talking about he 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 and he 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 ha he 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 Missy <laughs> Okay, Missy Elliott. Not the spirit of Missy Elliott getting into this nigga. So anyway, child. My messy ass listen, I love mess. I don't love being a mess. Like I don't love being a mess, but I love mess. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I love me. I love this type of mess. This is my type of carrying on right here. So I was like, shit, let me see if they gonna come on the air the next day. Cause we don't know, like, you know what I mean? Like, we don't know what's gonna happen. And I remember seeing a report that said, oh, they're not gonna face um, anything from GMA because seemingly it seemed like everybody knew. I mean, come on. I think we were the last people to find this out, okay? It seemed like they knew, it seemed like their spouses knew. So whatever. So the next day, here they come. This was Friday, y'all. This was Friday. Yeah. <laughs> you looking forward to the weekend? Looking forward to the weekend, right? So you can keep smashing her guts to smithereens, TJ. Thank you very much, Anita. Always good to see you. Uh, tracking uh, a lot. This is... Let me talk about this money. Why TJ ain't looking at the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Why TJ ain't looking at the camera? Why TJ ain't looking at the camera? Why TJ ain't looking at the Let's be real. Let's be real. The way that man sat next to that lady with his legs open wide like that, that's we fucking raw say. Like, that's that's we fucking raw. Like, they fucking raw. And it's, listen, listen, as long as y'all ain't with y'all spouses, whatever y'all do is y'all business. But then come to find out. Oh, hold up. Before I go there, before I go there, you know, people were bringing up a lot of shit. And somebody put on the TL a birthday post that TJ had made to his wife. That was not too long ago. Let me see if I could find a birthday post. I was like, wow, this is really like, one thing about men, they gonna embarrass you. Men are always gonna embarrass, like it really don't matter. Like, they gonna embarrass you. And then, first of all, this is his wife. This is TJ Holmes' wife. Look at how beautiful this woman is. And she's an attorney. This man is dumb. Like, men are stupid. Why would you do this to your wife who is an attorney? Men really don't think. Like, they really, like they only think with one head. Like, really. And it's not the one on their shoulders. So, um, this was back in March 2020. March 2020 that he wrote this. Uh, I guess it was 10 years after being married. He says, I'm reading the post. And I quote, TJ Holmes, uh, this particular decade challenge is a little late, but 10 years ago, Mary Lee Feibig married me. And despite my best efforts, she remained married to me the past 10 years. I'm going to read that again. And despite my best efforts, she remained married to me the past 10 years. Despite your best efforts of what? Because despite... I gave her plenty of reasons, excuses, and opportunities to walk her fine ass out the door. But instead, with her built-in black woman superpower, oh hell nah. This nigga been cheating. 
This nigga just ain't start. This nigga been cheating. This nigga been cheating since before they walked down the aisle. Mm, 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 mm. Um, but instead with her built-in black woman superpower. First of all, I don't ever want to hear anybody. Not you niggas. Not you niggors. Not you biscuits. Not you whiteies. I don't ever want to hear a man or woman addressing my built-in uh what is it my built-in black woman superpower absolutely not because i will use that same superpower to kick your fucking teeth into your throat like don't fucking play with me this is this supposed to be nice like this is like this is the most horrible marriage I, i'm glad to be married post of all time like her built-in black woman superpower oh my god that is horrible Thank you so much for being strong enough to deal with all my cheating and all my fucked up ways, babe. Thank you. No, absolutely not. Oh, this man a fuck boy. See, I was with you, TJ, until I read this shit. <sighs> she showed a grace and patience that is incomparable, comprehensible. Fuck you. Fuck that. Asking for her, asking her for another 10 years would be asking too much. Another 10 months? That may be a stretch. Oh, girl, he's telling you he don't even want to be with you for the next 10 minutes. Like, this was literally like, bitch, you still here? After all, these 10 years of me continuously cheating on your black, built-in, a uh, 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 woman, superpower having ass, you still here? This is exactly what he's saying in this post. Like, bitch, I don't even want to see you for the next 10 seconds. Please, bitch, be gone. Oh, my God. If she gave me another 10 weeks... I should consider myself lucky. If she puts up with me for another 10 days, damn, I didn't even, I didn't even read, I'm reading this for the first time. This nigga saying everything I just said, I'm reading this for the first time. If she gave me another 10 days, I'd be grateful. But if she would even spare another 10 minutes of her time for me today, I should consider myself blessed. He is telling you, bitch, you stupid for giving me another 10 seconds. Like, you giving me another 10 seconds, oh, you really dumb. You really, really dumb. Um... This is Merrily Five Big Homes, y'all. And I, TJ Holmes, do solemnly swear that I was her decade of challenge. <sighs> you need your ass beat, TJ. Your fine ass. You need your ass beat, straight up. Um, like straight the fuck up. You need your ass beat. Um, apparently to, uh, where is the other, where is the other art, article? There was an article that talked about, um, <gasps> so Amy Robach, she was divorcing hubby Andrew Shue. Now, do y'all know Andrew Shue? Do y'all remember who Andrew Shue? First of all, Amy, you 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 not that cute, sis. And you got this fine ass nigga at home? Well, fine white nigga. Well, you got this fine ass whitey at home? Girl, what's going on? I swear, white women are so greedy. Like, y'all are so greedy. White women are very greedy. Like, girl, what's wrong with you? Um, Amy Robot's divorce from actor Andrew Shue is almost finalized after 12 years of marriage. Damn. So her and I find it really strange that her and TJ are have both been married around a decade. Um, oh shoot, because that post from TJ was 2020, so this year would mean 12 years. Damn, so they've both been married 12 years. Did y'all make a pact? <laughs> when we get to 12 years, we ducking off on these niggas. Like, what? What is going on? What's going on? Um, oh, Robach and Shu, Robach 49, Shu 55, tied a knot back in 2010, two years after her divorce from Tim McIntosh, the father of her two teenage daughters apparently um asked if robot had any romantic flings during their marriage and one tv insider said it wouldn't i wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me she and andrew had rocky moments they almost broke up a few times over the years but it's not like amy is some serial philanderer okay um y'all remember y'all do y'all remember melrose place that's where he's from that's where he's from that's him right there from melrose place girl you 
And then here go look look at TJ Holmes and his wife. Look at how beautiful this woman is. Men are dumb. Like men are dumb. Oh my god. I am embarrassed for y'all. And and my thing is, you see the pictures of, of them with their spouses, then look at look at them with each other. Like, look at look at the vast difference, bitch. Look at the vast difference, bitch. Look at how happy they are together, bitch. I am screaming. Look at how <laughs> Ghost and Angela. I'm sick of this shit. I'm so sick of this shit. Um, okay, I also had read somewhere that TJ Holmes' wife, Marilee. Was blindsided so uh page six writes this was on saturday tj holmes wife was blindsided by his alleged affair with gma3 co-anchor amy robot and insider tells page six exclusively the staffer tells us holmes and his wife mary lee five big had been separated for several months but we're trying to work things out when news broke out of his romance with robot last wednesday um she's devastated and she had no idea uh, they were just together for TJ's birthday, August 19th. Um, but she hasn't commented, neither has TJ. Uh, TJ is 45, Robach is 49. He moved out earlier this summer. Okay, so it looks like they were both separated from their spouses, but it looks like at least with TJ, his him and his wife were trying to work things out. That's what it looks like. But also, I had read somewhere else that he supposedly had a fling with someone else at gma i'm not sure if that's true um I'm trying to find the article come on like how <sighs> tj i hate this for you you too fine to be like you did all you all this for for, for some back me all that some back meat tj um oh shit it says here robin roberts confronted tj holmes and and amy robach about affair rumors oh here's the article here's the article right here tj holmes cheated on his wife with gma producer before affair with amy robach before tj holmes started a relationship with his gma3 co-anchor amy robach he had a three-year affair with Mary Good Morning America producer Natasha Singh started in 2016. Oh my God. Also, oh my God. What is. <laughs> Imagine you think your husband going to work, but he really at work. Work, just working pussy. Just working pussy. <sighs> Lord. The affair started with long distance with TJ Holmes based in New York and Singh was based in Los Angeles. Holmes was just a GMA correspondent at the time and we're told they'd meet up for romps during his travel. Not romps! Not romps! Child, anyway, fast forward to today. They did not come on air and um, the anchors that were there today were like, hey, they have the day off. So here's the thing. Me personally... If I didn't know the backstory, I really wouldn't be mad at this. Because, I mean, honestly, we could all see that they had a lot of chemistry. They have a lot of chemistry. But y'all is married. Y'all is married. So, and it looks like, at least with TJ, he wasn't fully separated from his wife. Amy, she fully separated. Amy's like, listen, I'm trying to get to that black dick right now. Okay? I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to get to that chocolate... uh, That chocolate dildo... ASAP. I guess the discussion to have now, I really want to hear from you guys in the comments is should TJ and Amy be fired for this, right? Misconduct in the workplace, spreading pussy juice on the break room table, in the fridge, all over the walls, all over the ceilings, whatever the fuck y'all doing in the, the GMA break room. Um, should you be fired for that? Remember in the beginning of this video, I was talking about how I had my own fling with my supervisor once when I was um, in customer service. That man was sleeping with half of the call center. Like, it got so messy that he had to be fired, you know? And I was literally a new agent at the time. I was, like, a couple months in, and he just was always in my face, and he was always asking me out and stuff. And so we went out, and we started seeing each other, and that's how that happened. But it, unbeknownst to me, he was sleeping with several women at the, the, at the workplace. 
to the point that things were between he and I got serious. And one day, one of the coworkers showed up with, <laughs> showed up with a bat to work to beat my ass <laughs> like literally went and told on herself went to hr told them that she was gonna attack me because i was sleeping with her man like it was really bad and so yeah sleeping with your co-workers sleeping with your subordinates like i just think that is not a good idea and although i think a lot of the lines are blurred when it comes to the entertainment industry but y'all are fucking journalists like y'all are at gma like this is like one of the most well-respected shows on television you know you got robin roberts you got michael Strahan, you got all these uh, uh steph um uh what's his name steph monopolis with the monopoly the uh steph monopoly guy you know what i'm saying like you have all these people that are well respected you know in this organization and here you go and tj this is not your first time uh, sleeping with somebody part of the organization. I just came across this article from um, the Jasmine brand. So the Jasmine brand was talking about the, the producer I was talking about. This is her right here. This is her right here, Miss Singh. And here's the thing. You know what this other... Not only do I want to hear about you... Not only do I want to hear from you guys what your appearance... Blah, blah, blah. Not only do I want to hear from you guys what your opinion is about people sleeping with people in the workplace, um, but also, is it me or these women that you're cheating with have a look? So while you're praising your wife for having built-in black women superpower... You don't you cheating on her with every non-black woman under the, under the GMA sun like that that begs another conversation which is why don't y'all niggas marry your preferences and leave us the fuck alone like go marry your preference go marry your preference have them show you what their built-in superpower is leave black women alone like why don't y'all leave us the fuck alone and let us be and let us be with with men who actually prefer us. Men who actually have placed value on us. Like, that fucking trash-ass post that you get, you made for your wife for 10 years of marriage. Like, drop it in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. And I'm going to be back later on, too. Because I, 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 Listen, I'm going to be more consistent for this moment. We're going to have a lot of conversations. We're going to have a lot of conversations. But in the meantime, drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.